Mr. Excel Podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1382, Find Macro. Well, hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jill, and today's question uh, sent in by Mike. Mike is uh, new to VBA, and he has a situation where he has to do a lot of finding, and he doesn't want to use the Control F, the Find dialog, all the time. And what he wants to do is he wants to have a cell where he can put in what he's looking for and then have the macro, you know, just go find that. All right, so Mike's new to VBA, he wants to record a little macro. Uh, I'm going to record my first macro out here. View out on the right hand side, I realize you can't see it. Record macro. I'll just do, uh, I'll call it custom find shortcut key. I'm going to use Control Shift F. And actually, you know, Mike, if you really want to use this one instead of the real one, you could assign this to Control F and it would win. But Control Shift F is a good way to go. Store it in this workbook. Click OK. All right, so now we're running. I'm going to select uh, a column. I'm going to do Control F, the real um, find. And you know, normally it starts out here with just these, but it's important that you go in and look at options because there's important things here that you're going to record into the macro. Like, do we have to look for whole cells, or is it okay to look for you know, partial cells? All right, and you know, match case choose any of those and we'll just do a find next and uh, that's all we have to do. We can close at that point and then stop recording the stop buttons down there next to ready at the bottom of the screen. Now let's go take a look at that code. We can use Alt F11 or if you have the developer tab displayed uh, Visual Basic. If you've never been here you want to display the project window so view uh, Project Explorer and then look for your macro. Here's my macro here, book 2, open modules Double click on module one, and here it is our recorded code. Okay, so I think I want this macro to not always work on column B, I just want it to work on the current selection. So I'm going to get rid of that line of code there. And you see that right now they're hard coding the what parameter, the what parameter. And so let's switch back to Excel and we're going to name this cell. I'm just going to call it uh, I don't know, uh, look for whatever. It has to be one word so I don't put a space in. All right, so now I have a named range, named range, we'll go back to BBA, and I'm going to, here where it says find what, I'm going to say range, look for, that's in quotes, dot value. All right, and that's all it is. Now remember, Control Shift F, you can close VBA, and come back here, let's put in something else, uh, egg beater. And whatever we enter in there, I select uh, this range, Control Shift F, and it instantly jumps to that location. What if we put in something that's not there? Well, we're probably going to get an error. Let's just try it. Control Shift. I'll actually select something first. Control Shift F. Uh, object variable or with block not set. All right. So uh, that would probably be very very annoying. Uh, let's just do this. We'll say on error resume next and then on error go to zero go to zero that's the bizarre bit of code that says hey uh, just uh, go back to the normal error handling you always want to do that um, so let's try it again uh, we search for uh, camera choose the whole thing control shift f works to search for zebra Shift F just doesn't do anything at all. It doesn't find it, so you know that it's not found. Then, all right. So, uh, interesting question from Mike. If you have a very specific situation where you have to do a lot of different finds uh, and you're willing to create this little named range here, uh, probably a very cool way to go. Well, okay, okay. I want to thank Mike for sending that question in. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.